How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Troy. And I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning in to today's video. And we do have new subscribers to the channel. There's over 100 new subscribers to the channel in the past couple of days. Welcome aboard and I hope you enjoy the videos. A federal judge has ruled machine guns are covered under the Second Amendment. A U.S. District Court judge in Kansas, and his name is John W. Brooms, dismissed a case on Wednesday against the defendant who was facing machine gun charges. The judge said the prosecutors did not prove the weapons could be banned under the Second Amendment. The judge, who was a Donald Trump appointee, dismissed not one but two machine gun possession charges against Tamari Morgan. Morgan was indicted by a federal grand jury in April of 2023. The judge wrote that the prosecutors hadn't met their burden under two huge Supreme Court gun cases, which were Bruin and Rami, and in those cases they require firearm restrictions to have historical analogs. At the time of the nation's foundings, the judge also wrote in his opinion, the government fails to meet its burden to demonstrate that possession of the type of weapons at issue in this case are lawfully prohibited under the Second Amendment. And of course, the judge ruling met with some criticism, especially from the anti-gun group Every Town. They said laws banning machine guns are crucial to public safety and called them weapons of war. Every Town, you can't have both. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Which ones are weapons of war? These machine guns, but also you call AR-15s and AK-47s that are semi-automatic firearms weapons of war as well. But like I said, you can't have it both ways. The assistant U.S. attorney for the case wrote in his court documents that the U.S. Supreme Court had made clear the regulation of machine guns fall outside the Second Amendment, even if the judge concluded the Second Amendment applies to the possession of machine guns. The law is consistent with the historical tradition of firearm regulations, the standards set in the Bruin decision. But the judge also wrote in his decision he acknowledges that prosecutors may prove in the future that machine guns can be restricted under Bruin. And the judge closed with, the court expresses no opinion as whether the government could, in some other case, meet its burden to show an historically anaglis, a restriction that would justify the federal law banning machine guns. Basically, the judge ruled in this particular case that machine guns are covered under the Second Amendment and dismissed the case against the defendant. That doesn't mean now that you can have a machine gun and not have a license for it. It's just for this particular case. And of course there's going to be an appeal. So this is a win and it's a step in the right direction, but this is a fight that's been going on for a long time. Please let me know your thoughts about the judge's decision in the comment section down below. And once again I'd like to welcome aboard to the channel the over 100 new subscribers. And also I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications on every video that I post, and I really do appreciate it. And I invite you to come back and watch my next video.